right, hello everyone. This week's rental is the Chevrolet Camaro. So in the previous video, I did review a Chevrolet Camaro LT1, but this time around, I have a standard version Camaro with a V6 engine. It's uh, sitting on some 18 inch rims, has really nice sleek yet big bodied styling to it. I really like the front fache with the headlights. Like I said, it is powered by By, the, by a V6 engine versus the tuned, heavily tuned OT1 V8 engine. Let's take a look around. Styling's very similar to the LT1, just a little bit less aggressive. I like the fender flares on the back end side that's always a nice touch and signature Camaro Hood, trunk space is going to be very tight I have one carry on and a couple other stuff and possibly fits a few more things in the back there I'm not going to go into too much details with the outside and the inside. This video is probably going to be more on performance versus how this performs versus the V8 and other competitors in its class. But hopping on in, hopping on in, keep in mind this is a sports vehicle so even though there's seats in the back i do not recommend it look at that there's barely any seated knee room so only if you have to the seats do pull down to offer more chunk space which is nice so let's just hop into the cockpit all right so the cockpit is pretty much no frills but just your basic not even any safety maybe a backup camera for reverse but everything's laid out nice with the digital and analog dash. Your controls, everything's very Chevrolet, very utilitarian. Just like the LT1, this is really just geared towards the driving experience. Small center console two cup holders love compartment I do like that even though it's a small screen there's a wireless version of Android Auto the fit is very snug the cockpit fit is very snug seats are actually pretty decent and comfortable there's kind of a blind spot right there that you have to keep in mind small window so you got to look over your shoulders when you're changing lanes because there's also not any blind spot protection or blind spot indicators so this is definitely a driver's experience keep your eyes on the road 
So let's take this on the road and talk about the differences between the V6 version and this Camaro, Chevrolet Camaro. All right, so let's talk performance of this Chevrolet Camaro V6. Compared to its V8 LT1, there's not much difference besides the horsepower. Suspensions, super stiff. You're going to feel every bump on the road. Steering is very, very responsive. One of the best handling cars around um, in the muscle car category. Visibility is quite well, of course, since, as I mentioned earlier, there are blind spots that you have to be careful of when changing lanes. And the noticeable difference will actually be the power, of course, since it's a smaller V6 engine, but that doesn't take away from the fun of driving this car. It does respond very well when you put the pedal to the metal, I guess, or hard acceleration. In fact, I think it's because it's a lighter vehicle then it's counter some of its competitors in its class. Uh, that helps out with the responsiveness. The height and power is there as well too. Let me try to show you that in a little bit. But what's really strange is that I find that the sound is different. So the V8 is like a muscle car, growl, low growl, rumbling, you know it's a V8. But the V6, um, for some reason, it has a more raspy sound to it, uh, especially in the mid-range. And it's mostly coming from the muffler, so... But once you start accelerating, the, you can hear the V6 engine kind of like whine a little bit more. So let me kind of show you. I'm going 65. I'm going to do some a little bit of acceleration. Let's see if you can hear it. See? It's it's, it's coming from the from the muffler system. Challenger slash Charger 
with the V6 model. Out of those three, four variants, I think the Camaro works as the better performer out of the pack. Being that it's the lighter car and the way the two the way it's tuned, V6 motor is tuned, it seems to be more uh, delivers more power uh, from low end to mid all the way to the top end. Now the V6 Mustang, I've I hadn't had a chance to try that out, so I couldn't really tell you, but I've had a chance to review the inline four turbo, which is still a fun car to drive, but it does have that turbo lag, and as the saying goes, there's no replacement for displacement, so I would actually opt for the V6 Camaro versus the V6 Challenger or Charger, uh, I would still pick the V6 Camaro, being that the Chargers and the Challengers, um, they just, they're just too heavy of a car, around 500 pounds more, and the steering is, is not that great not as comparable to the Camaro. So, in the end, the V6 Camaro is still a fun daily driving car. Gives you a, that still gives you the experience with less power, of course. As a rental for daily driving, I have no issues with this car. Like I said, it's really fun to drive around town or out in the open highways if you can handle the stiff suspension. I would definitely rate this as a B plus, A minus rental vehicle, given that even you should be saving more gas with the V6, but it is a sports car, so it will consume more, and it's a very small car, smaller inside cabin uh, car versus the Mustang or the Challenger, being the Challenger, Charger has the bigger space, um, Mustang is going to be in the middle of the pack, and the Camaro is going to be uh, very tight, um, but it's not much of a difference, so it's um, it's just splitting hairs at that point. So yes, uh, Camaro, very fun car to drive. I highly recommend it. It's not going to, if you have a chance um, to get it, to rent it, go ahead. But if there's the, the V8 variant out there, I would highly opt for that. Uh, you'll just get a better experience with that one because the V8, especially the LT1, is just beast mode all the time. And that's like a one in a lifetime driving experience. So, but nothing wrong with the V6 Camaro. Alright guys, thanks for watching.